Good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening. <sighs> Good sleeping, whatever time of day you're meeting me here. Welcome to my practice room. This is my space. If you've never been here before, welcome, welcome. If you have been here before, so good to see you again. I'm Marla, Marla Tofel, Somatic Coaching and Healing. And I teach Zepchen somatics and other embodiment practices. And sometimes I teach them on YouTube. Um, I offer free videos here from time to time. And this is one of those days. I thought we would do today a wonderful Zepchen somatics practice called Talking Funny. And this is where it is. <laughs> it is a beautiful practice for letting go, loosening, loosening, I'll say, just a little bit jiggling loose stories we hold as righteously true about ourselves, about the world, about how things will always be. It's also, talking funny is also really great for uh, loosening habits of reactivity. I know I habitually react to things. Uh, I think many people do. I don't think I'm alone in that, but I know I definitely have edges, especially when I'm tired or overworked or hungry or um, any combination of those um, or just, you know, um, feeling collapsed. Um, it's easier to go in the, into those reactive patterns of response. And talking funny helps just jiggle those loose a bit too. Um, and here's how it goes. You take your tongue and you just gently let it rest against the back of your bottom teeth. Like that. And then you just let your tongue relax, take up space in your whole mouth. And let your jaw relax, let your jaw relax, let everything relax, even let your throat relax, and just practice talking just a little bit, like as if you're talking to me or yourself or a friend. Like, hi, Kenka, it's good to see you. <laughs> just practicing funny talking um, a little bit and then relax out of it. Let go of that. <sighs> Take a nice big breath, let yourself pause. and <sighs> Notice where you're sitting on your chair or your seat or the floor, or I'm on one of those big bouncy balls. If you're sitting on one of those giant exercise balls, just feel where you are seated. And come down, let your breath bring you down back to your seat. And then when you're ready, you can try talking funny again. And this time, maybe you can talk about something that is very, very serious. Like, I will, I will never, ever, ever feel <laughs> competent in what I do or successful. I will never, ever not be afraid. <laughs> and if you find yourself laughing <laughs> at your whatever comes out, let yourself laugh. The other tremendous benefit of funny talking is that it lightens these stories we hold as true. And that lightening, that laughter, if we do laugh, supports our immune system function. And it might take some practice to let the stories come out. Like, <sighs> I don't feel like we'll ever get it right. I just, I won't. This conversation I'm going to have with this person always, always stresses me out. It will never change. <laughs> so convincing, <laughs> truly convincing. It's not. It's not that we are making fun of these stories that are deep and tender and they're true. I mean, we feel them, we experience them as true. It's not like we're saying, 
you're bad, I'm bad for having these stories, of course we have them. It is to physically, physiologically relax our tongue, our oral, oral pharynx, our mouth, our, 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 even our nasal pharynx gets pulsed and our, um, the fascia, the, the tissue the, um, that's at the base of our brain, that gets pulsed and pumped and that supports our, our brain to relax. In fact, having resting your tongue on the floor of your mouth is a really great way to come out of your frontal cortex of the really hard thinking. So funny talking really lets us verbalize these stories that we think so hard on that are true and helps us relax them as we speak them by physically relaxing, pulsing these tissues, the dura at the base of our brain, pulsing our mouth, our tongue, the root of our tongue where it very deep back inside, where it connects also our throat and all of this pulsing in our mouth, our tongue, the base of our brain, our throat supports our cerebrospinal fluid to wash itself, to cleanse, to um, flush out the neurochemistry of these stories that goes alongside with these stories and to bring in the more relaxed, lighthearted, loosened form of being and the neurochemistry that, that goes alongside that. So funny talking, I hope you are still funny talking your stories. And you can also funny talk to a friend. My friend is Kanga. Kanga is an excellent listener. And I could say to my dear friend Kanga, oh, woe well, is me. I feel like I will never get it right. Like I will never uh, not be afraid. Uh, it's always hot. good to have a good friend listen <laughs> to your stories of doom. I am doomed, Kanga. It's just all doomed. I just, I don't know how I will go on. <laughs> <laughs> so this my friends is talking funny try it out i hope you will do it for a few minutes rest yeah rest now breathe let your breath as it rides gravity down right alongside to come down into your back and your seat, all the way down to your feet. And take a little rest. Hmm. Maybe, see, maybe noticing any sensations from the funny talking. I notice my tongue. It's like, ooh, we've gotten a little workout here. <laughs> way deep back. I've been doing this for many years, so you may not have that deep sensation, but maybe you notice a difference in yourself. I notice my edges feel softer. <sighs> so thank you, Talking Funny. Thank you for joining me in this practice. This is Chen Somatics Practice, one of my go-tos. And I hope you'll get in touch. Go to my website, marlatofel.com and check out my um, coaching services. And if I am running a class, I would love for you to join me there. And of course, join me for a free consultation for coaching services. So take good care, all the best. Thank you again for joining me today. From my heart to yours, bye-bye for now. <laughs>